Oh, well, would you look at that? Would you just look at that? It's frozen. The intro is frozen. I've been having, okay, well, let's just do the damn thing. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello, you guys. Today is actually Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. And the only thing I can prep you for tonight is dangle clacks. There's just going to be. They're just going to happen, going to run into little problems. I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. Also, happy prohibition to everybody out there. Yeah, happy prohibition. A lot of states, full on, full on prohibition of electronic flavored vapor products, which is just insanity. We're going to try to do some updates tonight. So I've been scrambling like crazy to get this vlog done. I don't know why I waited till the last minute, but. I got a retro vape here that I'm trying to get the coils glowing evenly on. I don't want to give that away. Did you guys already see it? Well, there it is. Whoa, there's the retro vape. Is it over here? Whoa, there it is. So we got a retro vape, kinda, that I still have to pinch and pulse the coils and wick it, but I have a liquid tasting. I can't do that thing anymore where I put all of the timestamps down here, but my main man in the chat, Jeremy V., I, I couldn't do this without you, Jeremy V. What's up to you, Mike Ohms? Couldn't do this without you, Jeremy V. He's going to have uh, all the timestamps in that first pinned comment right underneath this video. I appreciate you, Jeremy. Appreciate you like crazy. But here's what we got coming up. We're going to run this vlog like we've been running the last few vlogs. Kumo is mad as hell. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. I spent today podcasting, so I'm a little bit out of the loop of a, a news loop right now. But there is some interesting, interesting federal news that has happened today that we're going to get to. So like I was saying earlier, we're going to we're going to treat this vlog like we've been treating the vlogs. We're going to dedicate the first roughly 1 hour to just look, some normal vlog stuff. I got a beer that I got to go run and get because I didn't get it ahead of time because I'm an idiot, but we're going to have a beer, we're going to have a random liquid tasting. I got the liquid right here. We're going to have a retro vaping. I have some mail as well that I should have brought in here but did not op- did not think to bring in here ahead of time. So I- I'm I'm behind the 8 ball today, as they say sometimes. I am behind the 8 ball. But that's going to be it. And then the second half of the vlog is just uh, is just news, advocacy, updates, activism. And uh, we're going to get everybody up to speed on what's going on across the country as best we can. As best we can. Things are moving and changing so quickly in the, in the tobacco control landscape that it's even hard. Even if you're in it. 100% and you never leave Twitter and you never stop reading articles and you never stop getting alert notifications, there are still some things that can just slip right past you. Just news that kind of happened and you went, what did it get Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Where'd that news go? It's gone. They just have, everything's happening so quickly, so quickly. There have been some small victories, right? We talk about Arizona as a small victory. We talk about maybe what happened in New York today. I didn't hear completely if if the block, if it went through, New York court blocks vaping ban in victory of flavored e-cig companies. Okay, so we got a little bit of a win in New York. We had a little bit of a win in Utah, but that win in Utah kind of turned into a loss uh, as for on the federal level of things. But look, you guys, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. And I am I am anxious to get to that because that's when we get, uh, that's what, yeah, Trump is pissed, Jason. So what? Is vaping better than smoking? Technically, yes. But so what? It's just the way, just the way he says it that just makes me insane. So how are we going to kick this vlog off? Let's kick this vlog off with, uh, let's let's do that thing. I have a video this week. I haven't been doing these the last few weeks, but uh, let's do that thing where I hear from one of my subscribers. And so the, the reason that I've been skipping these a little bit is I have a lot of these types of videos, but they're all a little bit on the long side. Um, People were getting a little bit carried away and sending me like four, five, six minute long videos. And I'm like, I can't put a six minute long video just 
right at the beginning of the vlog. So moving forward, if anybody out there has a video that they would like to see featured, <laughs> you, you shut your mouth, Lando. <laughs> of course I'm joking. If anybody else out there has a video that they'd like to see featured on this vlog at the very beginning, just take your smartphone, start videoing yourself, landscape mode, please, landscape mode, please, shoot a one minute video, send it over to me. It can be anything. You can shout out your local shop if it's still open. You can shout out your favorite juice vendors. You can shout out whatever, your family, your friends. You just wanna talk shop. You wanna show off your setup. You wanna tell your quit smoking story. I'd love to hear it. And you can send those on over to me, Grim, nick at grimgreen.com. Now, I love you too, Lando. I'm, I'm just giving you guff. That's what we call guff. Just giving out some guff, guff to you, Lando. Um, so here's that one thing, and it's one I ran across. It's a little bit of slim pickings, so I guess right now uh, we're gonna. I think this gentleman's name is Jake. So I'll shout you out, Gary Chase. There's a shout out for Gary Chase right there, free of charge. Did that one pro bono. Let's hear from. Uh, let's hear from Jake, everybody. Howdy there, Nick at GrimGreen.com. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, appreciate what you do, everything you do, it's, it's just for the community, it's great, uh, watch your videos all the time, it, they're, they're great, you know, it's just, it's just great, uh, yeah, Nick at GrimGreen.com, viewer miles, shout out, bump that fist, bump that fist. Jake, everybody, Jake. Thank you for that video, Jake. Appreciate it. If anybody else, like I said earlier, has a video, maybe not exactly similar to Jake's, but something along those lines, just real quick and snappy. Like I said, shout people out, shout out your favorite vendors, shout out whatever you want, talk shop, shoot the shit, tell your quit smoking story. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear it. I see that super chat. Thank you for that super chat. We do the super chats at the end of every segment. And right now, what I would like to do is open a beer. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna roll the beer bumper, okay? And then I'm gonna try to run to my fridge as fast as I can, get the beer, run to my cabinet as fast as I can, get a glass, and try to be back here by the time that the bumper ends, okay? This is gonna take, ready? Here we go. One. I need, a, I need a head start. I need my running, my you know, the blocks that the runners push off of. That's what I need. I need like push off blocks. Ready? Three, two, go. Oh, I didn't make it back in time. Damn, I was, I, was, I was like sprinting. I was sprinting, sprinting across my house, sprinting across my house. Um, so the beer that we have to taste tonight on this just very random October vlog, happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, my heart's racing. I just ran across the whole house. But I got a cup. <sighs> Just kidding. Uh, I got a cup and I got a beer. And the beer that I wanted to try tonight is uh, we went grocery shopping. And, you know, I always peruse the sort of beer section. Even if you're not buying anything, you kind of just walk by, you know, you kind of just peruse and see what's there. And uh, I, uh, I definitely need to catch my breath. Hmm. That was some serious running. And I just saw this beer there and I thought to myself, that right there is one of my favorite beers of all time, of all time. And I just wanted to buy it. I just wanted to taste it. I needed a little bit of like a, a pick me up, like a happy beer. 
And so I just picked out one of my favorite beers, literally of all time. This is the Chimay Grand Reserve. It's the blue label. It's my favorite Chimay. It's my favorite Belgian beer. I just love the crap out of this beer, as they say. But the downside of this particular brew... <sighs> yeah, that's a cork, you guys. And I don't do well with corks. I don't like corks. My favorite beer comes, all my favorite beers come with corks. It's the sign of a good beer, apparently. So I'm going to try to get this cork out of here as best I can. Fucking corks. <sighs> yep, I did it. It's no big deal. I don't know what you guys were so worried about. So I'm going to pour this uh, Chimay Blue Label Grand Reserve into a tulip style glass as that is the preferred vessel for Belgian beers, IMO. Look at that. Look at that head. Let's drink through that head like a man, Ruby Roo. There it is. It just pours dark. It's a Belgian quad. I, I absolutely love this beer. I know how it's going to taste even before I get in there. It's going to have low notes, those raisiny kind of sort of date flavors that happen in there. This is a higher ABV as well. If I remember correctly, it's, uh, ah, oh, nine, nine percent. No big deal. I could do nine percent standing on my head. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight, watching the vlog with me, hanging out, talking shop, talking advocacy. Uh, cheers. This is for you guys. What, what a great beer. It's just a beautiful beer from beginning to end. The flavor, the upfront sweetness, those low notes. It's a fairly clean beer. It's got a really nice, the only way I can describe it is like a very rounded mouth feel. Just the taste of Belgium, Addy. It is the taste of Belgium. It's amazing. Um, it's incredible. It's, I mean, it's, it's one of my favorite beers of all time. One of, one of, one of my favorite beers of all time. And luckily tonight, I have Yig. I have Yig in a tank and I have Chimay Grand Reserve. This is going to be a spectacular, spectacular beer pairing. Flawless, flawless, all hail the superior beer pairing of Yig and Chimay Grand Reserve. Whew. It's just such a good beer. It's such a good pairing. I want to do it again. Mm. Mm. I'll take you up on that bet, Ruby Roo, because... I have no idea. I couldn't properly define what an ester is at all. Just couldn't. But I know I like Chimay Blue. I know I like Chimay Grand Reserve. And honestly, the Yig and this, good Lord, they just pair so well together. It's one of my favorite pairings. It's the Chimay Blue with Yig or it's my other favorite beer, the St. Bernardus ABT 12 with Yig, just beautiful, just beautiful. I love it, let's do it again, let's just do it one more time. Why not, Who call the cops. This is my vlog, I run it how I wanna run it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, that's amazing. That's an amazing beer. That's an amazing beer. So uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about tonight as we get into the vlog here is just a few things that I've been vaping. Um, ever since September 11th, 2019, I haven't been doing much of anything except advocating and being on Twitter. That's, that's, that's like my main job right now. I've read more studies and articles over the last two weeks than I think I have read possibly in my entire life, certainly more than I have ever read in school, 100% more than I have ever read in school. And that's just what I've been doing. So I haven't had, I honestly have not had time to even re-wick things, rebuild things, 
Replace coil heads? Nope, none of that. So the first thing I've been vaping is the uh, the pug from Vaporgate. That's the Offriff Next Mesh uh, sub ohm tank on top, filled up with Yig. You already saw this. It's amazing. Good. Really good vape. Also, still hanging in there with that Kennedy Ruby two post continuous contact mech. I got some Turk aliens on top. Still heavily, heavily, heavily into this mango sticky rice from Gold Leaf Drip. We had it on the uh, we had it on the vlog last week when Dwayne was here, and he didn't like it. But I uh, I just kind of can't stop vaping it. I just put a fresh battery in here too, so it's hitting like amazingly. And Kennedy flavor, Kennedy flavor is amazing. Kennedy flavor, recoil flavor, K-Fun flavor. Those are the kind of ones that I hold up in really, really high regard as far as flavors go. Welcome, Dash Vapes. I'm honored to have you here, brother. Thank you for coming out. Kennedy flavor. It's hard to beat Kennedy flavor. Um, The other setup that I have going right now is... So random, and I can't ever remember the name of this RDA. I had to do this on the podcast too. Eternal. This is the Eternal RDA. It's a dual vertical coil. It's got about 8,000 different airflow options. I have built dual vertical coils in here. My only gripe with this RDA so far is the O-rings on the bottom are kind of bucket. They kind of suck the big one. Just real loose. Does get a little leaky under there, but the vape I'm getting from it is real nice. I'm not a huge fan of vertical coils, but this one seems to be performing just fine. And it's on top of that Tony B Swell mod. It's just, isn't it just a Swell mod? And both batteries are dead because this is literally the only mod that I've been using for like two weeks now. That's crazy. I mean, that's that's normal, right? That's normal. But for me, that's crazy. I'm used to like having a very limited time with mods. I'm like, well, next mod's coming in. This one has to go on the shelf because I got to review this thing. It's amazing what happens, you know, when you just spend all your time with one mod. I feel like I know this swell mod so well and it's really comfy and it, it hits really good. Hang on, I gotta change batteries because, hey, I'm not prepared. So, we change batteries. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna put my OBS, uh, you know, monster batteries in here. Pret sled's pretty clearly marked. The negative goes there. Then the negative goes there. Then we put the panels back on. Then we do this. I've got this at 90 watts right now. Like I said, dual vertical coils. This is rescued e-liquids. Vulcan on the inside. Just a huge, huge fan of this liquid. Uh, I got a whole bunch of rescued e-liquid last week and I got to the end of my other bottle of Vulcan and I did that thing that I did with Bule Bolu where I got to the end of the bottle and I thought, do I just wanna keep vaping this liquid? Like, should I just keep vaping this? Should I just crack open a new bottle and just continue or should I save this bottle for like a later time when I you know, am craving it? Couldn't pass it up. I. Simply cannot put this juice down. It's incredible. It's amazing. You're probably noticing that I've said juice a few times. I'm over that now. <laughs> that was old. That was old Grim Green that gave a shit about juice versus liquid. With the position we're in right now, it doesn't matter one single bit. So say juice, say whatever you want, say liquid. I, I don't care anymore. These are some crackly, crackly coils in here. Flavor for days. That's just that's just a really reliable setup. I don't want to tear that one down. I've also kind of been hanging in there with these two like AIO guys. I refuse to call these pods. This is an AIO in my opinion. This is that Vupu Vinci. This is the one without it. It's so satisfying, Dash. That crackle. <sighs> The crackle is everything, bro. The crackle is everything. This freaking Vupu Vinci has been like my go-to favorite thing 
I don't know, of the year. It's just, I can't stop vaping it. I can't put it down. It's so convenient. I really dislike the way that it looks, but it vapes so well. This is loaded up with some six milligram DIY nonsense. Oh, sorry, burp life. That These are the things that are gonna happen when you're in a live stream. Big, swooshy, wide open airflow. It's just so nice, so smooth. It's not crackly, but damn it, it's satisfying. And this other, I picked this one out because of, uh, I feel like it's a, making a political statement. I like having a, a vape device with an American flag on it. That just seems so fitting to me with liberty and justice for all. This is the Rinco Tix. I think it's called T-I-X, the Rinco Tix. This is loaded up with three milligram Turkish cake because damn it, I'm an adult and I like a lemon cakey flavor in my vape liquid. And it's good, it's fine. It's not as warm as I want. It's not as open airflow as I would want. But it's overall a pretty nice little vape. It's been real reliable, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's one of those like, I don't know where my vape is. Where's anything? Oh, I got the Rinco thing. All right, I'll vape that. Like, it's like when I don't have anything else and I can't find anything, it's like, yeah, okay, the Rinco. The Rinco, the Rinco ticks. The Rinco ticks works just fine there. So I'm going to have to do another sprint. Are you guys ready for this? This is how unprepared for the vlog I am. Right now, I would like to open some mail because I have some mail. And in fact, I have one package tonight. One package tonight that is, it's my gift to me. I decided I needed to give myself a gift and I bought a mod and I am so pumped and I'm saving it for the vlog to open on the vlog and it's been here since Tuesday, and I haven't opened it. I've, I've restrained myself. And so what I have to do right now, again, is roll the bumper, sprint, and get some, uh, <laughs> shit, get my mail. So I definitely will not be back in time. So at least enjoy the bumper. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I made it. I made it, you guys. Uh, except I didn't get all the mail and I didn't get a garbage bag. So you want me to just do the bumper again? Let's see if I can get back in time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, man. Well, I really messed that up really mess that up so i guess we'll open that one last because the first one i have this is a this is a dhd package and i just love getting dhd packages don't you love getting dhd packages get some of that dhd love all over the place i got another dhd sticker which you can never have too many too many <laughs> definitely not holding scissors phil Definitely not holding scissors. Excellent. This is what I was hoping for. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show this, but it's some DHD drip tips. Yeah, nice. Little mouth to lungy drip tips. So this is going to be for stuff like my KFON, which is getting cleaned right now. For any other MTL, mouth to lung RDAs, tanks. There's the green guy, the little white guy. Ooh, I wonder if this will fit on the Grim Kit. Ooh, if that fits on the Grim Kit, I'm gonna be so happy. Just tiny little mouth to lung atomizers. Atomi mouth to lung drip tips. So thank you. Thank you, Jess Marie DHD. Look at that. Sticker, st sticker, sticker in a box. Jess Marie DHD. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Jess. Just love you into the ground. You're up there in uh the Utah area, so we're gonna be talking about Utah in a little bit, but Utah, Utah actually did a few things correctly. 
which is crazy. It's going good, old Vapor Jim. Hope you're doing just as good. Let's uh, see the rest of this. Okay, let's get these right here because this is going to be dope. And then I got a package. <laughs> this package is from uh, this package is from one of my patrons, one of my Yo Yo Cool Kids Club members, um, and it, and he shipped it in a in Uline toilet seat covers box. And I went to the mailbox, and I was just the most the most confused. But he put little googly eyeballs on it there, completely changes it, and it says right there, please open on the vlog. Please open on the vlog. And Rhett's beard, I want you to know, the only reason that I'm opening, on the, opening this on the vlog is because you said please. It's because you used your manners. And of, of course, of course I don't have a knife. It's okay. I have a knife and that's fine. So this is from Rhett's beard. No idea what's in here. It's always uh, it's always fun getting packages from the patrons, you know. I get some random stuff and it's always awesome and it's always fun. So let's see what uh, let's see what Rhett's beard has for me here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Superior grocers. Mm. Is that where you do your grocery shopping there, Rhett's Beard? Did I figure it out? Superior Grocers? All right. Then there's some packing peanuts. And, oh, I see. Oh, wait, what? Okay, hang on. Hang on, there's some literature here. There's some literature. Uh, Nick, feel free to use however. Hope you can read my writing. Yeah, I definitely can. I definitely can, Rhett's Beard. You have, you have great handwriting. Have you seen my handwriting? We're going to do the Super Chats right after this segment. I promise 100%. Uh, dear Nude Pooper. Okay. All right. Well, fuck you, Rhett's Beard. Just kidding. Dear Naked Pooper, uh, enclosed you will find a few things I thought might bring you some joy amidst the current chaos. Thank you. I do need joy amongst the current chaos. Bottle of three milligram Yang from Karma Vapor, the one from ECC. Awesome. Yeah, Rhett's Beard had these great juices from ECC, Yin and Yang from Karmic Vapor, Karma Vapor, and uh, the Yang was amazing. I wanted to steal the bottle from him on the spot. Uh, some three Star Wars pins for your battle vest or wherever you want to stick them. A pair of Star Wars edition Adidas Sambas that I've had for a while, but feel could be better appreciated by a bigger Star Wars fan. Chances are I am the bigger Star Wars fan. You provide great and necessary service for those of us in need um, uh, of a light at the end of the tobacco tunnel. Your effort and passion for vaping in the industry draws people in and and helps us make the right decisions for our health. Yeah, thank you. I mean, thank you. That's all I've ever wanted, Rhett's Beard. I just want everyone to quit smoking because you know how easy it is? It's this easy. There you go. Press button, quit smoking. Unbelievable. This technology is an unbelievable technology. Now may Odin shine his light down upon you and yours. Let the dust, let's dust off ourselves and get back to the fight. We vape, we vote. P.S. Cool bonus points for reading any of this as an Arnold or a walk-in. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't get your bonus point round. Uh, P.P.S. Forget to list the bottle of Killafruit's Red Apple Iced, my wife's favorite. Should I go back through it and read it like Christopher Walken? Dear nude. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. But there's shoes in here. There are legitimate, I have shoes. Rhett's Beard sent shoes. Oh my God. These are amazing. These are amazing. You see these? Look at that. Rebel symbol right on the heel. Adidas. Holy crap, these are cool. Holy crap, these are cool. Did you know my shoe size? These aren't my shoe size, are they? I don't even care. I, I don't even... I want to put them on so bad. I don't even care if they're the wrong size. What size are they? Uh, 
I can't see. Holy shit, they're my size. What are you talking about? How did you get... How did you know my size? Holy shit, these fit. What? Woo! Look at that, Rat's beard. Hell yeah, shoes. Hell yeah, shoes. Damn, Rat's beard. You went... That's above and beyond, man. That's above and beyond. I know you said that you've had them for a while, but damn it, that's cool. That's cool, and thank you. Thank you for thinking of me when you saw these and you went, you know what? I know a really big Star Wars fan, and his name happens to be Nicholas Green, and I'm just going to send these. That's awesome, man. Fucking awesome. People are good. People are good. Humanity is good. Yes. Oh, give me this. Uh, we might have to do this next week on the very random liquid tasting. Or I might actually set it up way, way before that because this Yang juice is tip top. Tip top good. Whew, Yang. Look at that. This is great. This is just a great, great juice. Great liquid right here. Yang. And then we have the... Uh, Killa Fruits Pineapple Peach. Killa Fruits. Oh no! Where did my camera go? Oh no! It's it's gone black. That works. What's up, guys? I guess we're doing the vlog over here now. What's up? How's that work? I don't know what happened to my, uh, I don't know what happened to my camera here, man. Let's try it again. No, it just, uh, all right. Well, let's try this again. Let me do one, uh, let me do one more thing. Let's just try it. No. All right. Well, that was fun. So we're going to have, let's see. It's time for crap. No, no, now no cameras are working. Wait, no cameras. Are okay, this camera's working. Whew. Wow. I was, uh. Hey, everybody. Uh, I got no place to put this. Hold, please. What's up, guys? This is just, uh, this is just a big dangle clack. Sorry. Sorry. works good night the meta good night the meta i blame gretchen whitmer for that too all right well i'm gonna keep wearing my one shoe here i'm gonna put this away thank you rett's beard thank you rett's beard for the liquid thank you rett's beard for the shoes you're you're a wonderful person i uh, thank you thank you just thank you sincerely from the bottom of my little heart really appreciate that so now we have some uh some other requests open on the vlog okay oh no i can't do this one yet hang on this is the big one this one is the big one this is the one that i gotta open last well trimmed nose i see yeah i i uh i trimmed my nose today thank you for noticing I mean, that's very very nice of you i can tell Ah, this package is from uh, a fella that some of you might know named Vapor Swaggins. You know, good old Vapor Swaggins, right? Yeah, this is a gym cam vlog. That's fine. I don't even care. I got some, uh, I finally got some transistor liquid. Finally got some transistor liquid. Uh, and this is, this looks like a, a Greedo action figure. Did you send me a Greedo action figure, Swaggins? Going somewhere solo? Pew, 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 pew. Nope, Greedo never shot. All right, Greedo. Uh, Greedo's going to live on my desk right now. Thank you for that. And most of all, this. So I don't know what it is. I've just been on like a... A, a, a vape gear. I keep looking at the wrong camera. I keep looking at the wrong camera, damn it. 
All right, that works. Uh, I guess I've been I've been buying vape gear lately. So this is the Atmazoo RTA. I bought it for uh, for some amount of money. It was a little over my vape budget hands, but you know what? I got I got talked into it. God, what a cool looking tank! What a cool looking tank! I absolutely love the aesthetics of this. Love the aesthetics of this At Mizzou tank. At Mizzou, oh, this is the At Mizzou, Sorry, At Mizzou tripod. Oh, it's a little bit restricted lungy. Mm, that could be mouth to lung all day long. That could be that could be a rock and roll mouth to lung. I dig this. I dig this a lot. I don't have I would love to be able to like take this apart and build it right now, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit involved. You know, some of that some of that hemo stuff. You want me to should I watch Mark's Mark Todd's review before I build it? Okay. Okay, I will. I will watch Todd. Todd. Hey, guys, Todd here. I'm going to watch Todd's video before I even set this up. But I purchased this, came courtesy of Vapor Swaggins. And he even included some uh, Vapor Swaggins propaganda right there. That's fine. Tripod user manual. So I bought a tank. I bought a new tank. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just wanted one. I just wanted to buy something new, and I went on a little bit of a, I don't know, not like a bender, I guess. It wouldn't be a bender, but uh, I just went on a little kick and started uh, buying vape stuff. <laughs> you got uh, you to you gotta, you gotta keep supporting the industry, you know? You got to keep supporting the industry. And lastly, lastly, this one. Open on the vlog. This one. This one, this one is the one. This one is the one that that I have been waiting for to open since Tuesday. I purchased it oh, exactly one week ago. Purchased it exactly one week ago. This arrived on Tuesday. Oh, you think you know what's in here? Oh, I will. The hands. This... This is the birth certificate. This is Tropicana. This is Tropicana from Aspen Mod Co. Manufactured in beautiful Colorado. Denver, Colorado. And when you guys see what this monarch looks like, it's going to blow your mind grapes open because this is one of the most pretty mods I've ever seen. I saw it on the Aspen Mod Co. site because... I do that sometimes. I used to do it with uh, Axis Vapes when they were doing the M17s. Is even when I couldn't afford one, and even when I didn't really need one, I would still like go to the website and like peruse it a little bit just to, you know, look at some pretty mods and imagine things that I can't exactly afford right now. And so uh, I saw Aspen Modco posting on Instagram or Ruby Ru post. Oh. Saw her posting on Instagram about this sale, and I'm like, damn it, I'm going to go. Oh, it's so cool. Holy crap, this is so cool. Well, I wish I had a better camera to show this off to you guys, but it's basically a clear monarch. There's a big, like, pink swirl right there. I got some pink and a big black spot on the back with that black anodized aluminum cap on there this is a dope 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 box this is a dope 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 box i just love it i want to set this up i kind of want to like uh you know let's get out some batteries let's see i wish i had uh i wish i had matching like pink batteries or matching uh I don't know, black batteries, but I don't. All I have is Pickle Rick. All I have is Pickle Rick batteries. And that's what's charged. And I even have an atomizer just waiting in the wings right here to go on top of this. I had something very specific in mind when, with this particular device. It's why I wanted the black, because I'm going to throw the black, matte black, recoil Rebel on there. 
Come on. Come on. That is cool as hell. That is awesome. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy right now. Tropicana. What's Here's the first vape off of Tropicana. Recoil Rebel. I still got some of that prickly smooth. Just a little, little bit left in there. So cheers. Here's to you. Here's to Ruby and Josh and Aspen Modco. Amazing. Fuck, that's cool. That's just so cool. And I'm going to try, I mean, like, I'd like to try to track down like a pink drip tip to put on there. Go for that full like Bret Hart, Hart Foundation, black and pink look. I just love it. I just love it. Dude. Dude. Dual parallel 2700 box. Are you kidding me? It hits great. The Aspen Modco Monarch. I just keep calling it the Aspen Modco, but it does actually have a name. And the name of it is the Monarch. And so this Monarch has a, it's fully mechanical, but it's got a clicky button. And that is just one of my favorite things. Just a parallel box that's fully mechanical, but also has a clicky button. Like, that's the best of both worlds. That's everything that Grim Green as a vapor has honestly ever wanted. I am going to just love Tropicana and just polish Tropicana and just vape on Tropicana. Is this the is this like the birth certificate? Ooh, I even got some clear battery wraps on there. Monarch by Aspen Modco, Tropicana, signed. I got Josh Hand's signature on there. Ooh, and then there's some, uh, you know, some literature that I've never seen. Tells you how to disassemble it, put it back together. Safety instructions, base assembly, top assembly, general instructions, adjustments. If you have any questions, please call us. Please email us. Rad. Okay. Keep the literature. Keep the certificate of authenticity. And this. Boom. So cool. So, so cool. Fuck, this is cool. Today is a good day. You know what? In spite of everything, today is a good day. Dude, it's good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Baby, it's so good. So good. So good. Baby, I feel good. Okay, that is uh, what represent. I think it's the last of the vape, man. Let me take one, one more last quick look in there. Make sure I didn't forget anything, okay? No big deal. I'm just wearing one shoe. What? You've never just worn one shoe around your house? One Star Wars shoe around your house? Pfft, what are you, crazy? And I keep looking at the wrong damn camera. I need to focus. I need to focus up here. I'm sorry about the auto-focusing. I don't exactly know how to change that at this point. So I'm just going to try to stay in the same place. Yeah, it was a good day. Didn't even have to use my AK. Got to say it was a good day. I'm saying it's a good day. I mean, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but today's a pretty good day. So we got through all the mail. I got my new Monarch and I'm so happy and everything's great. Let me have some beer. Where did I just put my Monarch? Oh, here it is. Whew. Dang, I thought I like misplaced it already. And honestly, the video does not do how pretty this mod is justice. There's black swirlies sort of like throughout it over here that you can't really see there's black swirlies throughout here there's this huge pink swirly on the front don't worry i'll try to take a dope picture for instagram so happy about this rue so happy about this
So happy about this. Money well spent. So that was my uh, that was my vape mail. I purchased an Atmazoo tripod and I purchased an Aspen Modco Monarch because, damn it, I just wanted to buy some vape stuff. You know, it had been a minute since I, since I, uh, t- okay, okay, from Utah. Okay, appreciate that. We are going to talk about Utah a little bit. There are people calling every... Uh, Slow, okay. Slow decision on the rollout in New York then apparently as well. Okay, well, we're gonna get to all that stuff. We're gonna get to all that stuff. But right now, I think what I wanna do, you guys, is do we liquid taste or, oh, this is gonna go past an hour. Do we liquid taste first or do we retrovape first? Do we liquid tape, liquid tape, liquid tape. And I keep looking at the wrong camera again. Do we liquid taste or do we retrovape? Liquid taste, retro vape. Liquid taste, retro vape. Let's do a, well, I'm gonna have to re-wick for both of them. Shit, I can't believe I'm this unprepared. All right, uh, so let's do the liquid tasting and I'm gonna have to sprint again one more time, both at the same time. All right, we can do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to sprint again to get an RDA. So let's, you know what? I might actually go take a pee break real fast. In fact, yeah, hang on. There's no, let's not rush this right now. Let's, uh, let's do this. I'll be, I'll be right back. peeing and then it just you're like i'm not stopping it just it's like it's just it won't stop won't stop just keep peeing keep peeing feels like it's never gonna end that's what just happened to me so where's my monarch there we go we're gonna be using we're gonna be utilizing the monarch in uh in today's liquid tasting oh yeah the hold music is still on sorry about that here we go let's roll that bumper super chats pause Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me that we needed to do the super chats, damn it. Let's do some, uh, let's do some of these super chats that are here. Um, I'm not going to be able to get through all of them, but we'll get through all of them uh, eventually. David Moore, very, very gracious of you. Didn't say anything. You didn't have to. That's for you. I'm not into politics. Neither am I, Jill. Jill 22. I'm not into politics. Who should use... Wait, 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 wait. This is uh, out of my... I'm not into politics, but... Who should us e-cig consumers be voting for? Nobody talks about this. Here's the thing. Politicians are making this a platform now. So we might not know right now exactly who to vote for, but you have to vote your hopes. And hopefully soon, some politicians will come out in favor of vaping. As it stands right now, we're very well aware of who we're not voting for, right? Who we're not voting for. We're not voting for Governor Gretchen Whitmer back in back in uh, back in Michigan. Definitely not. Definitely not voting for Governor Cuomo out there in New York. So we know who we're not voting for. And I guess the easiest way to do this would be ask, like call people who are running, contact the offices of people who are running, either that, whether that's presidential, whether that's senators, whether that's representatives, and just straight up ask them, what are your views on vaping? 
I'm I'm one of your constituents. I'm a vapor. I've been smoke free for X amount of years. I'd like to have my adult choice to this less harmful vapor product remain intact. Where do you stand on vaping? And just straight up ask them. Just straight up ask them. I think that's uh, I think that's the way to go. Uh, Killer Thriller, very gracious of you. Boom, that's for you, buddy. Matt, very gracious of you. What's up, Grim? Uh, big win for New York State for now. So. I keep hearing conflicting arguments about this. Some people say that nothing's been decided in New York State yet, and some people say, yes, it, it went through. It's it's a temporary something or other to stop this legislation or to stop his uh, to stop his flavor ban. Some people are saying it has gone through. Some people are saying it has not gone through. I'm not sure right now, and I only want to report the facts. I don't want to report conjecture, so I don't know. I can't say for sure me personally right now what's going on with New York. And, you know, I don't want this to be like, well, Grimm's acting a lot like the CDC, just denying things. And, uh, you know, I just don't know. I don't know right now, but we're going to get into that. Matt Sinister, very gracious of you. Vape shops in the non-incorporated counties are saying a big F you to the LA City Council's vote. They have no jurisdiction. Body slam, Cuomo, hashtag vote. Yeah, they passed the flavor ban in the unincorporated areas of Los Angeles, which is kind of a whole big song and dance. And it turns out that the the L.A. City Council, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors voted on this measure. And then it turns out that they might not even have the jurisdiction to make that decision for other areas in Los Angeles. So. It's kind of a lot going on in Los Angeles too right now. And apparently, according to Matt Sinister, a lot of the vape shops down there are kind of just flipping the middle finger and staying open and continuing to sell stuff because it's like, you have no power here. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot going on. It's just a lot going on. I'm looking to get educated as much as I'm going to try to educate you guys. This is so we can all get on the same same page. Yeah, and they did do that recently in San Diego as well. Uh, San Diego flavor ban. San Diego flavor ban was at least discussed. I don't know if it had passed, but it was certainly discussed. Poon sauce. Jake is now my spirit animal. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi. Thanks, Nick. Bye. Okay. That's fine. Poon sauce. You can do that. Jake's my a little bit of my spirit animal as well. Robert, very gracious of you. Much love, Nick. If you had still been a smoker, that spirit would have been damn, damn near impossible. I know that sprint impossible. It would have been impossible. I, I've, I've, I've run and hiked more as an ex smoker than I have my entire life. I work out now. I lift heavy things and I do push ups and I and I work out now. And that's something I never could have done as a smoker. Never could have done as a smoker. Yeah. Tanisha, Stan, what are you doing, Stan? Uh, Nick, you love verts. Hashtag embrace the dark side. Why does everybody want to sell me on vertical coils? Why is that like the thing? Everyone's vertical coils. Just do them, vertical coils. Why? Because they're slightly different? Because they give me. The same vape, only it's more annoying to build and more annoying to wick, and you have cotton sticking out of the top of your RDA that kind of gets in the way of all your airflow. Like, other than those reasons, is that why I need to love verts? Okay, Stan. Well, I'll take it under advisement. Appreciate that, Stan. <laughs> co- uh, co- co- <laughs> Clouds and coils uh, shot a nail in my foot, so I'm stuck on the couch yay. What's a couch yay? Seriously, I don't know what a couchier is. I'm just kidding. Wow, that sucks. Now, did, now I have so many more questions for you. Did you shoot the nail in your foot on purpose or was it an accidental thing? Did you shoot the nail in your foot so you could just stay on the couch? Like that could also be an option as well. <laughs> just kidding. Rest up. Hope you get well soon. Stay on that couch as long as you need clouds and coils. Rhett Falls, what kind of coils give the best, strongest crackles? Walk in. Well, uh, in my opinion, um, there's one person that makes coils that I'm going to be using tonight in the retro vaping, uh, AJ Holland, AJ Holland, AJ Holland makes uh, higher ohm aliens. See these high ohm aliens. That's a, a 0.27. I'm hoping they come out to at least a 0.27 on this, uh, on this, but look at these coils too. Just look at these coils, Rhett Falls. They're a thing of beauty. 
AJ Holland just makes really dope coils and I would consider his coils to be like the crackliest coils that I've ever used. And they're never, at least in my experience, they are never not crackly. Every time I've used a set of AJ Holland coils, they just give me crackle nation and uh, and I love it. And I, I don't know if that's what's in this. Sometimes coils are just crackly with no rhyme or reason, um, but I found again, at running the risk of repeating myself, I found AJ Holland coils to be the most consistently um, consistently crackly coils. Crackly. See, you can't just, see, that's the thing with impressions, man. You can't just do it. You know, an impression is, uh, an impression takes practice. You have to really plan out what you're gonna say. And it's like, people are like, do an impression right now. And I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know, I don't want to. It's because you have to, you have to think about it. It takes longer. It's like, well, try to do a British accent right now. Chances are you'd have to like think about it. Like, okay, what am I going to say in a British accent? Hello, you know, and you have to think about it. Otherwise, it doesn't turn out right. So that's why I don't like being put on the spot with uh, with impressions like that. Even though, I mean, I am kind of amazing at impressions. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not. Steve, very gracious of you. Hey, Grim, love your work. Straight from the heart. I'm in Brisbane, Australia. Bogan was here last weekend. Do we need to make this global overnight? We vape, we vote. Much love from down under. It is global, Steve. It is, it is global. It is a global issue. This is getting talked about on a global, global scale. Global scale. Oh, a mystery person gave me $2 and then just had their message retracted. All right, mystery person. Thank you. Very gracious of you. Chris, very gracious of you. Two things. Would you like all your people from Nam? Wait, wait hang on. Two things. Would you thank all of your people from Namber Juice for me? Uh, easy, uh, easily done. I ordered uh, from you over four years. Thanks. Wow. Uh, I mean, thank you. Also was wondering what RDA you recommend. I have been rocking the OG, OG Recoil and Rebel since they dropped. Dude, I'm not even going to recommend another atomizer to you because you have two of the best atomizers on earth sitting in front of your face right now. And those are the ones you should be using. <laughs> um, in all honesty, I really like the Turk V2 RDA. I like the TM24 Pro Series. I like the Kennedy stuff. I dig that Ardent RDA that uh, that uh, Stan over there, Tenacious TX Vape did. If you can somehow get your hands on a Jenna, then that's probably one of the best RDAs ever. I just I just love the crap out of the Jenna RDA. Might be uh, might be something worth looking into. All right, we're gonna catch back up with James right after we do this liquid tasting because I haven't been paying attention because I have to rewick the liquid tasting real fast, and that's okay. This should be pretty easy. Oh yeah, Psh. Psh. glowing, glowing so perfectly, perfectly evenly. I'm just going to wick this up, and uh, I've got another liquid this week from Maine Vapor Co. Maine Vapor Co. Um, they did uh, this. They did my favorite Prickly Smooth. This is from the same company, Maine Vape Co. Prickly Smooth that I just annihilated that bottle of Prickly Smooth. Annihilated it into the ground. Into the ground. All right, well, we might be spending the last half hour talking about uh, news and advocacy, although we do do like the news and advocacy updates. I don't know what I'm thinking. Look at this giant strip of cotton I cut off. That's, that's useful to nobody, Nick. Useful to nobody. But uh, yeah, you know, we kind of put the news and advocacy out there throughout the vlog. Um, I, got, uh, I got no real, real updates other than Utah... Utah did pretty well. Utah regulated in a way that kind of made a lot of sense. And I saw a lot of people on Twitter kind of bemoaning Utah and saying like, oh, Utah's fallen as well. And Utah hasn't exactly fallen. It, it, they put in place regulations that make a lot of sense. You know, uh, they're not doing a flavor ban. There's no flavor ban in Utah. There's no flavor ban in Arizona. And in Utah, what they're doing is basically limiting uh, flavored vapor products to adult-only stores, and they're enforcing Tobacco 21, 21 and over, and then they're having all the vape shops put signage in their windows that say, warning, you know, avoid black market cannabis products, don't buy THC cartridges off the street, and, and then that's it. And then that's, that's how it went in Utah, which is kind of crazy 
Who saw that coming? I did not see that coming at all. Did they put a nicotine cap in, in Utah as well? I don't believe that they did, but if they did, that would make a lot of sense. Hang on, I got to wick this uh, Turk V2 real fast so I can get to this main Vape Co. Uh, e-liquid here. But yeah, so Utah, in in the light of everything else that's going on with the you know the de facto ban in Massachusetts, apparently the the flavor ban has been at least uh, at least slowed down in New York, from what I'm hearing, from what I can tell. There was an injunction uh, filed as well in the state of Michigan, which uh, didn't go through. But that's okay because injunctions like that, uh, from what I've learned recently don't really ever go through. It's one of those things like, uh, well, we might as well try an injunction, right? We might as well try an injunction to kind of stop this before it starts, but they didn't have high hopes that the injunction would be working. And apparently injunctions like that uh, rarely, rarely go through. So that's not completely out of the ordinary. Um, There is a lawsuit filed right now in Massachusetts. There is a lawsuit filed right now in Michigan. There is a lawsuit filed right now in New York State. And that's where we're at. I think that's where we're at right now. I think that's where right where we're at right now in the world of uh, in the world of tobacco control. And I'm going to have some interesting insights a little bit later. I'm going to try to do this. I'm shooting for about 20 minutes from now to really jump into the news and advocacy, to really jump into it, to kind of give My thoughts, I've changed my stance a little bit. I've changed my position a little bit, I guess, just the way I'm I'm thinking about this and how it's all playing out and how it's all going. And I just, I've changed my position on it. Uh, uh, I've, I've changed my position on it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Chimay, what you know about Chimay Grand Reserve. Okay, so the liquid that we are tasting tonight in our very random liquid tasting, this comes from Main Vape Co., like I said. This is called Sugar Loaf. Sugar Loaf. How do you not want to vape a liquid called Sugar Loaf? Sugar Loaf was the name of a ski resort up in Lake Tahoe, California, where I grew up that was once owned by Walt Disney. Think about that. Whoa, that's a, well, that's a trip. It's a little bit custardy. It's a little bit sugar cookie. I honestly tasted what I thought was like uh, anise, like star anise, like a, like a slightly black licorice flavor to it. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this here sugar loaf. Sugar loaf ski resort. This is, of course, in the uh, Turk V2 on top of my brand spanking new Aspen Mod Co. Monarch. Thank you, Ruby and Josh. Or actually, thank me because I purchased it. I bought it. I saved my money for it. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can smell the vape. I can smell the vape. And I've got a very bad feeling about this right now. I've got a very bad feeling about this. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I ha- okay. That's all I can say. We'll see. So let me do this. Let me take my uh, inaugural toot, as it were, of Sugarloaf by Maine Vape Co. Here we go. So it does sound like a cookie butter liquid, doesn't it? I'm glad you said that. I can't read your name right now. It looks like something photography. Wasn't quite sure. It, Yeah, yeah. That's where my head was kind of going too. All right. All right. All right. Uh, So I'm going to do what I always do right now. I'm just going to sit back for just a hot minute. I want to spend a little bit of time with this liquid before I really talk about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is...
Okay. 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 So, where are we landing on this liquid right now? Where are we landing on this? It is, to me, it tastes like a snickerdoodle cookie. It tastes like a sugar cookie. Uh, it tastes like freedom. It tastes like liberty to me. It tastes like liberty to me. Come and take it, Gretchen Whitmer. Come and take it. Tastes like liberty to me. Tastes like a sugar cookie. It tastes like a sugar cookie, like a snickerdoodle type of cookie. I get like, I get a cinnamon component to it, which makes it, in my opinion, and take this for what it's worth, it makes it a little bit throaty. It's a little on the throaty side, okay? I know I say that about some liquids, but this one is a throaty liquid. I just get a little bit of a, I just get a little bit of throatiness from it. It's got real nice upfront sweetness. You get like that sugar cookie snickerdoodle kind of flavor to it. Here's the problem. I'm going to ruin this juice. I'm going to ruin it. I'm just going to ruin it and there's no turning back. With every single sugar cookie, uh, snickerdoodle type of vape, I get one flavor out of it and and I can't untaste that flavor once I taste it. And I, I don't want to ruin this for everybody, anybody that vapes the sugar loaf. But to me, what I get out of it is it's a very slight, sorry, Play-Doh flavor. I get a little Play-Doh in there. Play-Doh. I get sugar cookie snickerdoodle. And then on the exhale, especially if I exhale through my mouth and my nose at the same time, which is how you really taste something. Yeah. There's just some, there's, there's just an F essence of Play-Doh. I know. I'm sorry. I ruined it. Ruined. Ruined it. I, it just, I just can't help it. The first part of the vape is stellar. The first part of the vape is great. The second part of the vape Play-Doh. I'm just going to call it is Play-Doh. Yeah, I can't untaste it. I can't untaste it, damn it. And it's just Play-Doh. And I'm sorry, Main Vape Co. I'm sorry. I just can't untaste Play-Doh out of there, which is a real bummer, which is a real bummer. But I still got the Main Vape Co. prickly smooth. So I, I think I'll be just fine. Just, just fine. It just happens. Damn it. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. What flavor Play-Doh? The one that tastes like Poseidon's salty asshole. That's the one that, that's the Play-Doh flavor I'm after. That Play-Doh flavor out of my mouth a little bit. Now, now let's do some super chats. Why not? We're here. Let's just do it. got a super chat here from James. Very gracious of you. I sent two new O-rings for that eternal. It'll help with the tolerance. Oh, excellent, James. Thank you. Thank you for that. It's my only gripe with that RDA is the O-ring tolerance. That's my literally my only gripe. I don't even mind that it's vertical coils. I don't mind anything else about it. I actually really like the airflow options, but those bottom O-rings, whoo, they are rough. Tracy, very gracious of you, doing the best I can in this small town of about a thousand vapors who have no clue. I feel alone here. Uh, use this for what is needed. Going to chat with my local congressman. He's actually very interested. Yes, Tracy, thank you. You're doing it right. These government officials, man, they work for you. They work for me. So you can call them relentlessly. You can request an in-person meeting and they have to grant you an in-person meeting. You can talk to your congressmen, you can talk to your representatives, you can talk to your senators. You can request in-person meetings and, and talk to them about this, especially, especially politicians that are ignorant to the subject of vaping, especially politicians who just hear like, Vaping, flavors, kids, hospital. That's like the, the big buzzwords going on right now, right? Flavors, kids, vaping, hospital. Flavors, kids, vaping, hospital. It's up to us. We're the only ones that can educate people on the difference between Juul 
and open vapor systems, the difference between 50 milligram salt nick and three milligram stuff that we vape. We have to differentiate between these two industries. The world needs to understand that all vapors aren't using a jewel. I guarantee you that no one has confiscated a box mod from anybody at any school ever. That's just not a thing. No one's going to school with a stab wood box mod. It's just not a thing. There's different types of vaping. And again, vaping is just the verb. I'm not, I don't want to go on the, on this whole tangent again, but vaping is just a verb. It's like saying, oh, well, too many kids are getting injured by driving. So we're going to ban tires. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Driving is the verb. What they're driving matters. Vaping is a verb. What you're vaping really, really matters. Drinking. Drinking is just a verb. But if you're drinking water, you'll probably be fine. If you're drinking whiskey, you'll probably be drunk. So you can't say that this is from drinking. You have to specify this is from drinking alcohol. This is from vaping THC. This is from driving a Tesla. Facts matter. Specifics matter. We've gotten to a point in 2019 where we just want one answer things for everything. You know what I mean? And it comes up with like climate change. And we're not going to talk about climate change because it's an incredibly complex question that needs an incredibly complex answer. And people don't want an incredibly complex answer. They want real or fake. That's it. Legal or illegal. Good or bad. Real or fake. The question isn't real or fake. The question is much more complicated than that. The the answer is even far more complicated than the question is. So you're not going to get just quick little soundbite answers about vaping. It's a complicated subject and we have to educate people. And that's why it's so hard to to bring up things like uh, the MSA. You know, we're trying to do this big MSA blood money thing. It's just too complicated of an answer to explain to someone. What's the MSA? Oh, well, you see, 48 of the 50 states, uh, in exchange for dropping lawsuits against the big tobacco companies, uh, they, they set up this master settlement agreement where the big tobacco companies would pay the states individually based on tobacco, sac- tobacco taxes, like tobacco sales in the state. So the more tobacco sales you have in your state, the more money you're going to get from the MSA. The problem is a lot of these states, they wanted the money up front. So what they did is they sold bonds to Wall Street. And that is where you lose people. That's where people go, I don't care. (laughs) I don't care. That's way too complicated. I don't care. It's like, no, no, no. But listen, so the states, they, they sold these bonds to Wall Street. And now some of these tobacco bonds, they're coming due. Like New York is due in December. And if they default on these bonds, it's going to be really, really bad for the states. Like it could bankrupt these states. It's too complicated of an answer. It's too complicated of an answer to try to explain the MSA to person to someone in a tweet. It's too complicated of an answer to try to explain the MSA to someone in one singular Instagram post. Complicated questions require complicated, even more complicated answers. So thank you. Back to Tracy. Go chat with your governor. Uh, go chat with your congressman. I'm glad you're doing that. Rhett Falls. Don't lose the pins, bro. They are wrapped up in the shoebox. Okay. I got the shoe box. I got the shoe box. Don't even trip, Rhett. I got one shoe on and I got the shoe box. This shoe is actually shockingly comfortable. Like these could be uh, some good walking shoes, I feel. We're going to see how this works out. John, very gracious of you. Please do a video build on the tripod for us to see. I will. John, I will make it a point to do that. In fact, I'm bringing back vape stuff to this YouTube. I have not been talking about any products on this YouTube for a while, and it's coming back. I'm bringing the vape stuff stuff back. We're going to do weekly vape stuff stuff videos, and it's going to be awesome, and I will build that uh, I will build that tripod. I'm, I can't not build that tripod. I'm insa- insanely excited to use that trip. Maybe that'll be my next video. Maybe I'll shoot that tomorrow morning. I'll shoot the tripod video tomorrow. Scrapwood Original, very gracious of you. Kind of glad you didn't open my box tonight. Didn't even come close to the Aspen Mod Co. Well, you know, what, what could, what could possibly come close to an Aspen Mod Co? A brand spanking new Aspen Mod Co Monarch. Are you kidding me? There's not much that can compete with that. In fact, I'm going to put this Rebel back on here so that I can have some of that, uh,
prickly effing smooth. That is one of the best liquids I've had all year. All year. Appreciate that, Scrapwood Original. Eric, uh-oh, I'm way back here. Eric, Grim, there is a surprise from up north. What? I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm more than ready for a surprise from up north. Give me a surprise from up north. Is Mike Vapes here? Mike Vapes. Ah, Recurve. Duel. (laughs) Mike Vapes. See, that's all I can say in the Mike Vapes voice. If you asked me to read the Constitution in the Mike Vapes voice, I wouldn't be able to do it because all I can say in the Mike Vapes voice is Mike Vapes. That's fine. Tenacious TX Vapes. There's perishables in that package? Stan... It's going to have to wait a week. All right, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. That's just how it's going to go. I mean, I'm not going to open it on video, Stan. I'm going to have to open it off video. Joe Mamba, very gracious of you. Sorry I'm late. New York stopped the flavor ban or something. I can't keep up with the news. How was your day? Uh, my day was my day was fun. I had a really good day. Today's been a great day. Uh, let's just jump on Twitter real quick and see if we can see anything about what is going on in New York Nope. Governor Ned Lamont's growing wave of vape-related illnesses is becoming more prevalent across the country. I was saddened to learn today that this tragedy has now struck here at home. So we're going to ban flavored nicotine products because kids are dying from contaminated black market THC cartridges. That is the single most annoying thing in the history of annoying things. Flavor ban. Okay, so this is what... uh, Mike Vape says the flavor ban has been put on hold in New York. So if that's true, that is true and that is good. That is a very, very good thing. Very, very good thing. I don't think that New Jersey made out as well today. I haven't heard any news from New Jersey. Has anybody heard any news from New Jersey today? I've been looking. I haven't seen anything. Uh, The one thing that I do want to point out is there is a... uh, here, look, we're not even to the news and advocacy yet. Let's just wait. I'm going to pump the brakes for a second. Appreciate that, Joe. Uh, Kenneth Broody, first vlog. Welcome. Welcome, Kenneth. Welcome to your first vlog. Appreciate that. Going to Scotland, very gracious of you. Vote libertarian. Uh, they'll leave you the F alone. Yeah. Look, I am a registered libertarian. It is the one political ideology that I can kind of go, oh, All right. Personal freedom, leaving each other alone, liberty, small government, fiscally conservative, socially liberal. That's, that's what I want. That's what I want. I voted for the, I've in the last three elections, I have voted for the libertarian guy because you have to feel good about your vote. Remember that the lesser of two evils is still always evil. And, and, and I hate that. People need to know there's more than one option out there. Come on. We could turn this country around, you guys. Uh, Jeannie, very gracious of you. So I may have called Gretchen Whitmer a vampire and said she had a dry sea rocket and could only get wet from blood money. Wow. Oh, my God. That is the greatest burn that I have ever heard. I hope you didn't say that to her in a tweet. I hope you didn't say that to her personally, but the chances of Gretchen Whitmore watching this vlog are slim to none. So good. I'm going to screen capture that, Jeannie, uh, because I like it so much. (laughs) You have a dry cunt and you can only get wet from blood money. Like that is like, that is horrible. That is horrible. That's like Guar lyrics, dude. And I listen to Guar, and even I think that's a little bit horrible. Jeannie, I really appreciate that. Uh, Reno, very gracious of you. Can you please, can you at least please look at the nj1015.com third article down? Governor Murphy is calling for a flavor ban, but the wording is kind of confusing. Weird. Why would the why would why would the wording be confusing? Aren't they trying to make this as clear cut as possible? Don't they want all of the relative information, pertinent news information, you know, uh, communicated quickly and efficiently and effectively to the U.S. citizens? Isn't that what they want? Oh, this is just a big uh, task force. Yeah, the New Jersey task force. This isn't even, this is updated as of uh, today, I guess. 
32 page report from a task force makes nine recommendations, including restrictions for online. Of course it does. Of course it's the worst conclusions possible. And I think it's comical. I think it is straight up comical. New Jersey and the FDA and every state in this constitutional republic that we call the United States of America, they have known about vaping and been familiar with vaping for at least, at the very least, one decade, at the very least, 10 years. So over the course of 10 years, they couldn't get their head around vaping, what to do about it, how to regulate it for 10 years And then suddenly they have a task force that takes three weeks to gather all the world's information on vaping and then make the recommendations that we should definitely ban flavors, we should definitely raise it to Tobacco 21, and we should definitely ban online sales in New Jersey. That's what his task force came up with. I hope New Jersey defaults on their MSA bonds. I hope New Jersey and Michigan and New York all default on those MSA tobacco bonds. They, those states deserve to go bankrupt for what they're doing right now. It's obscene. It's obscene. <sighs> Thank you, Reno. Thank you for getting me all uh, riled up there. Uh, Vapor Swaggins, very gracious of you. Tango Melon is my favorite juice of all time. Greedo has been with me since I was 11. Enjoy the tripod, man, and thanks for everything. This has been with you since you were 11? Swaggins, you gave me a little toy from when you were 11? Oh, man. That's, that's too many feels, Vapor Swaggins. That's not fair, although I really appreciate it. Double A, very gracious of you. Oops, I lost my spot now. <laughs> Grim Green, you said we had homework. I found that one of the components in the whole shit show have been involved in this is Intis. Oh, yeah, hydrogen cyanide. Yes, good call. Good call on the hydrogen cyanide. You know, uh, NBC, ABC News recently reported on the uh, on the hydrogen cyanide issue as well. Um, there's another, I know Jay Hayes was talking about this uh, maybe earlier today. Chemical burns, people are... There's something about chemicals or chemical burns now that they're bringing out about vaping, talking about someone got a chemical burn or something like this from vaping. Hogwash, hogwash. That's not even possible. That's not even a thing. So what I'm gonna do right now, we're gonna pause on the super chats because it's almost six o'clock and I only have a half hour left. Maybe this will be a two and a half hour vlog tonight. Who cares? Call the cops. Let's do some mother truck and retro vaping, you guys. Okay, so the retro vape that we have tonight is, uh, well, it's a big stacked mech mod. It's not even that retro. I'm gonna have to wick this, but I was frantically, frantically building this right before the stream started. And it's this, it's this guy right here. Does anybody remember this from ECC maybe three years ago, four years ago? No, Jeremy Clark, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to stop you. Jeremy Clark, Han did not shoot first. Han did not shoot first. Han... Only Han shot. Greedo didn't get off a shot. <laughs> I just needed to correct you on that, Jeremy Clark, because I feel I know you. Yo yo to ya. Star Wars is something I take very seriously. Only Han Solo shot. Greedo didn't get off a shot. So it's not Han shot first. It's only Han shot. Good. I just want to clear that up. I don't want anybody leaving this stream being misinformed about Star Wars. <laughs> Don't want anybody in this stream being misinformed about Star Wars. So I got this. This is from uh, Vapor USA. I don't even remember the name of this mech mod. It just says uh, Vaporway USA. This is the Arsenal. This is the Arsenal. They did a custom Grim Army. This is one single tube. This doesn't separate in any way. And it's just a big stacked tube mech mod. So what I was doing right before the vlog is I was installing some of those uh, high ohm AJ Holland coils. 
And I'm going to try to uh, kind of strum these out as best I can. I mean, I have to strum them out because these have to be glowing evenly because I want this to work. I want some powerful, powerful, just crazy hot vapor in my mouth. I want them to be AJ Holland crackly, crackly high ohm coils. This is going to take some work. This is going to take some work. It's just really difficult to do this on a stacked mech. You strum, you pulse. You strum, you pulse. And then eventually... And then eventually... Eventually they should be glowing nice and evenly. These uh, AJ Holland coils were almost too wide to even fit in this, which is, oh, come on, hot spot. Come on. Oh, now there's an even bigger hot spot. That didn't help anything. Why are you hot spotting so bad right there? Are you too close to the post? You are just going to hotspot right in that one fucking spot, aren't you, AJ Holland Coils? Oh, no, you're hotspotting too, Mother Trucker. Cheese and rice, Mother Nuggets. I haven't built series in a really long time. Just a really long time. And I just don't want any mother trucking hotspots. You are just going to hotspot, aren't you? You dumb bastard. You motherfucker. Aha! Oh, now I have another one. Great. Oh, beautiful. Finally. Okay, they're glowing. They're glowing evenly. Let's let those cool down. Let's throw some cotton in there and let's put some mother truck and liquid on there. In fact, let's just try this liquid. Let's try transistor. Why not? Swaggin sent it over, so we're going to vape it. Now, AJ Holland wraps his coils on a much bigger diameter than some other uh, builders. Turk does a two and a half millimeter every single time. Every Turk coil you get, I believe, is a two and a half millimeter. Two and a half millimeter. Dab a drop of liquid on the mofo. Does that actually help? Nah, that doesn't actually help. You're just trying to steer me in the wrong direction. And AJ Holland, he wraps his on, I believe, a three and a half millimeter, which is a big, uh, that's a big diameter coil. That's, uh, you're talking... You're going to need a bunch of cotton in there. So I'm going to attempt to wick this as best I can. We're down to the last half hour of this vlog. Where did the vlog go? Where did the vlog go, you guys? I'm looking over here because that's where the chat is, and I want some answers. <laughs> where did the vlog go? Sorry, Russian terrorist mode. Sorry, Russian hacker mode. Let's get some cotton in here. Beautiful, Clark. Beautiful. Let's get some more cotton in here. I'm I'm cutting off. Uh, this is old school. This is Kogendo, Japanese organic cotton pads. This is old school way to wick. Those are just honking coils. There's just no way around it. Those are honking coils, man. God, I love wicking big diameter coils. It's just so easy. Let me cut you guys a little bit shorter, I think. Then we're going to tuck it under here. Oh, no. We're going to tuck it under there. That's how we do it. I cannot get this cotton tucked. <laughs> awesome. Dang. 
Uh, I might have needed to uh, raise these coils up a little bit. I mean, it's too late now. It's far too late now. Far, far too late now. Dang. I really, uh, I really screwed the pooch on this. All right. That's about as wicked as it's getting. Boosh, it's wicked. It's not my best work, but it is definitely wicked. Now, does this have some sort of menthol component to it, Swaggins? No. Okay. All right. Well, we're putting this uh, transistor all over these coils. This is a uh, Tango Melon. Tango Melon? Does that mean Mango Melon? Oh, dang. Transistor is pretty good. Transistor for the win right there. Now here's to hoping that all of this went correctly, that these coils are going to glow correctly, that this liquid is saturated through, that my cotton is saturated through. Let's see the insanity. Yeah. Awesome. Bang in. Bang in. Now, you guys, this is the first series build that I have vaped in probably well over a year, maybe even longer, maybe even longer than a year. Wait, what did you say there in the chat? I completely missed that. Boot in, boot in New Jersey. Great news for you and your mom. Uh, you will one more cigarette for the future, said Grim Green about two years ago in the casino. Yep, cigarette of the future. Cigarette of the future. I did used to say that. You know, I used to go to Las Vegas and uh, at that time when I was going to Las Vegas and like, 2010, nobody was vaping down there. People just looked at me like I had lobsters crawling out of my ears when I'm sitting at a blackjack table with my little vapey pen e-cig that looked almost exactly like this. They were big pen styles, big glowing blue light on the bottom. Oh, I'm just, no, it's chocolate flavor. It's chocolate flavor. I'm from the future and this is how everybody smokes. Yeah, I remember vaping when nobody vaped. And now I'll remember vaping now when nobody vapes. All right, so here we go. I got one shoe on. I got a stacked mech in front of me from Vaporway. I've got this loaded up with Transistor Tango Melon. Cheers. My first series build in like a year with AJ Holland coils. Let's see how it goes. I'm honestly a little bit terrified of how warm this is going to be. Yep. That's nice and hot and warm. Whoa, whoa, hot, whoa, hot. Is this a, uh, dang, okay, so this transistor, nobody vapes. <laughs> That's my favorite thing I have seen all week, all night. Someone named nobody vapes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good stuff. All right, so right out of the gate, this is hot. This is hot as balls. Hot as balls. If AJ Holland is correct in his estimations of his coils, then this should have come out to about a 0.29. Should have come out to about a 0.29. It's angry. It's hot. It feels good. I got some, don't worry, I have good batteries in here. I got good Sony VTC5 stacked batteries in here. That is, uh, that's just a real hot vape, isn't it? Just a real, real hot vape. And I haven't vaped this probably since that ECC. Probably, maybe, probably not since that ECC. I probably haven't picked this up in about two years. This was the last time I had like a serious series build. I miss, kind of miss how warm it is. I used to love like really, really hot builds. Holy shit. And just like that, two toots and the cotton is just bone dry. Bone dry. 
this was always very much a pop and paint situation. The way that these two post atomizers are, I mean, you can kind of blay your liquid through the middle if you want to, but I like to apply it directly, directly to the coils, directly to the coils, at least in this situation. Always juice on the outside, always juice on the outside, but it's warm and this liquid, man, it stands up. It stands up to this heat, this tango melon, to me, kind of tastes like mango, if mango, uh, mango mixed with, um, you guys know tang? Am I dating myself right now by, by, by saying the word tang? You remember tang? That powdered drink that the astronauts used? This tastes like tang to me. I can't change it. It just, I got that flavor right out of the first thing I tasted. I was like, oh, I just jammed a spoonful of tang into my mouth right now. Just right into my mouth. That's what this liquid tastes like. Tang. It's delicious. It's completely delicious. Okay, I get a little bit of mango. I get a little bit of mango in there. It mostly tastes like orange tang. Even though this is a tango melon, all I can taste is tang. Frames, no, not frames, swaggins. Do you just get tang from this liquid? All I, t yeah, tang, green wizard. All right, tang, NASA drank, exactly. Mango tang, that's what this tastes like, mango tang. Swaggins, fuck yeah, it's delicious, it is delicious. I'm into this, I'm into this stacked, I'm into this series build. I'm into these crackly AJ Holland coils and I'm into this tang. I'm just calling it tang juice from now on. And just in case you couldn't hear the crackle. Oh, 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 crackle, crackle city. AJ Holland has yet to let me down. Dude, all right. Hell yeah, retro vape. Like the last retro vape, chances are I'm just gonna keep this around. Um, I've got some friends that I'm sure you'll see on the internet flying in tomorrow, and uh, I want to impress them with this. I want to impress especially one of them with this. Holy shit. Holy shit. And that does not go well with this beer. Okay, so here we are. We're at the end. Uh, we're at the, we got that, like the last 15 minutes of the vlog. We've kind of been spattering news and advocacy throughout, but I would really like to focus on this one thing that's about to happen. Um, let's get through the rest of these super chats real quick first. That's all you get. Half the bumper. I, I, I'm on a time frame here. I got a schedule to keep. One psychotic summer, gracious of you. Hey, Grim, could you give a big shout out to my baby boy, Dylan? Of course, Dylan, you're shouted out. Ooh, wrong camera. He will be five this month. Keep up the awesomeness. Love from the UK. One family under clouds. Absolutely. abso freaking lutely Raging Vapor, stand up for your rights and go to kasa.org. Literally, literally everybody in this chat, I was actually just going to do that, Thomas Crow. 100%. Um, literally everybody in this chat should be a member of CASA already. And if you're not a member of CASA, go sign up for CASA. Like just, just do it. It's free. It's easy. They send you calls to actions. They send you information. You get a weekly recap of all of the news that happened on Twitter. If you have any intention of staying educated during these crazy tobacco control times, CASA is the place to educate consumers. Send them a testimonial. They send you information. They send you calls to action. CASA is a wonderful organization. I'm, I'm like Matt on this. I will not take people bad-mouthing CASA. If you're going to bad-mouth CASA, just leave. Done. Get out. They are helping, and we can help them help. We can help them help. Raging Vapor, I very much appreciate that. Thomas Crow, can you please put out my in-law GoFundMe? 100% Thomas Crow. I'm going to put it right there in the chat, and I'm going to put it right here in the description. 
boom, it's right there in the description when this goes up to uh, when this goes up to replay. Thank you, thank you, Thomas Crow, for everything you do. It's the least I could do. I'll put it in the chat uh, a few more times throughout the night. If anybody has a few dollars to spare, uh, Thomas Crow has set up a GoFundMe for his father-in-law that is in need. In need, and I like helping people out, and I just like helping people out as best I can. That the crows, the crows need some help. The crows need some help, damn it. And Thomas Crow has been nothing but good to me and nothing but awesome. And I want to help him out as much as I can. If everybody could just go give a couple of bucks, that's all it takes is everybody giving a couple of bucks. I think that would be, uh, I think that would be very cool. Uh, all my love to you and you and your family, Thomas Crow. Uh, Reno, very gracious of you. Governor Murphy, Governor Murphy just banned flavored vaping products in New Jersey. The article is on New Jersey 1015.com. Yeah, I, I, I'm reading that. That's today, the task force. Yep, vaping also has nicotine in it. And one of the things, uh, yeah, he did. He did just do that. We'll read that in a second. Heavy Metal Vapor, very gracious of you. Nick, thanks for all the hard work you do. Your Twitter game is second to none, <clears throat> period. You know what? I I don't really feel like I'm that good at Twitter. I just I just enjoy it so much. I enjoy the platform of Twitter. I love being able to, uh, to like share clickable links and share information like that. I love being able to tweet at elected officials. I like being able to tweet at the president. And you guys are gonna have homework tonight, okay? Do you want the homework assignment right now? Okay, your first homework assignment tonight, smash that like button. If you're here in the chat, you see the like button right there, smash it, kill it, punch your computer, just take a stacked tube mech and wham, (laughs) I'm just kidding, don't do that. But if you could hit that like button, it would, uh, it would really, I would really very much, uh, very much appreciate that. And thank you. Thank you very much. Got one here from, uh, Tenacious TX Vapes, just messing with you, buddy. Mm -hmm. You know what's in there. Get to the advocacy already. Passion sweat. Yeah, passion sweat. Uh, Oh, you did say that to her on Twitter, Jeannie. All right. Well, hell, you know what? I'm not going to be the boss of you (laughs) because that's funny. You just broke your keyboard, Jonathan. Well, that's the price you pay for being grim green in the grim green world. I'm going to tell you to, to break things. Rhett Falls. Uh, got my mystery liquids in today. Just knuckle tested them. Love all three. The mango sticky rice is blowing my mind grapes. Also, Bolu. Boosh, thanks. Rhett, it's the least I could do for a patron. Appreciate that. Matt Sinister. Uh, Matt Sinister defeats Governor Kumo with a power bomb off the t- <laughs> through the table off the top rope. Governor Kumo forced to resign due to multiple injuries. My God, he is broken in half. He is broken in half. Matt Sinister. Man, I wish I wish I could see you wrestle. I wish I could get in the ring with you. You want to give me some pointers? Show me how to take some bumps, do a couple clotheslines, do a couple shoulder blocks, you know? Could be fun. British eyes. Never pulse coils on a Mac. Nick's a professional. Or, look, yeah, you're not technically supposed to do that. Don't p- pulse your coils on a Mac. You should always put them on a regulated device so you can check the resistance and things like this. Um... I am not, I, I, that's a do as I say, not as I do. So don't, don't do what I did. Do it the right way. I mean, if you want to, here's the thing, <laughs> personal freedom. You have the freedom to be stupid in America. So do whatever you want. Skull the Sunless. I wish I could send you a DNA 250C 3000 Ma 4S made by Donnie of Friendly Fire Mods. Go check his mods out. Fire Friendly Fire Mods. I am uh, I'm going there right now. I'll leave that tab open and I'll come back to it. Skull the Sunless. Very gracious of you. Appreciate that. Adam, what are the best coils for a new K-Fund 2019? Uh, can I get pre-made or better to learn my own? Uh, small, small coils you need in a K-Fun. I do, uh, I do 24 gauge round wire. I do about an eight wrap on a two millimeter, two and a half millimeter. Perfect. If you can get some really small fused Claptons in there, you might be able to get some real tiny fused Claptons in there. Um, Addy Tooney's here tonight. Addy Tooney is like the king of the K-Funs and he puts fused Claptons in his K-Funs. I've always just used round wire because I'm lazy and I like putting round wire in a K-Fun. 
I uh, hope that answers your question. Probably not. GSC Vapes, very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, I've really been enjoying the Saga series mod from Vapors Cloud. It's like a 21700 noisy cricket, but better construction. I'd like to see your review of that. My favorite mod in the last four years. Dang. Dang. All right. That's a glowing endorsement. That is a glowing endorsement, CSG Vapes. I'll have no choice but to check it out. I will have no chase choice but to check it out. In fact, I'm going to hit this on the Google button right now. I'm going to leave that tab open. And I'm going to check on it after the vlog. Last one from Joe. Very gracious of you. Uh, Mod pods are the future. Ah, are they? Who's to say what's the future? Who's to say what's the future? You never know in the vape industry. The vape industry is a cyclical thing. Things that go out of style come back constantly. I remember a time when everybody literally... Everybody was using a mech. Every vapor was using a mech. And then mechs just started dying off and everybody got into these regulated devices, right? Regulated, regulated, regulated. And then drippers started going away. Squonkers, right? Squonkers, squonkers, squonkers. Drippers come back, drippers come back and they're on regulated, regulated, regulated. And then, oh, what do you know? Mech mods making a big comeback. Mech mods, mech mods, mech mods, and then soon the mech mods are going to die off, and then oh, squonkers are going to come back. It's like it's like everything's cool for a little while, and then as soon as it shifts, what you were vaping before is no longer cool. Oh, you don't have a stacked series mech? <laughs> Whatever. I guess you're not a real vapor. I'm sorry, that's my least favorite thing on earth. Gatekeeping is the worst. So let's actually roll the bumper right now and let's talk about what's going on on a little bit of a federal level. Yeah, news and advocacy. Yeah. I sang that myself, if, if anybody's curious. Um, so what we got today was, uh, was some news. Uh, where did it go? I don't know where it went. That's not it. Uh, this is Jeopardy. Uh, here it is. Here we go. This is the big. Uh, this is the big federal news for today. Uh, don't forget that the. Uh, don't forget that the federal vape ban, the federal flavor ban that Donald Trump cardboard he talked about. That is still very, very much a reality. That is still very, very much a reality. But what happened today, what happened today, <sighs> freaking Mitt Romney. So we got some news from CNBC. This is dated October, no, September, what? September 19th, 2019. Did we all miss this news? Apparently we all missed this news. I thought this came out today and I'm just going to read the whole thing because it's only a few paragraphs long. Senator Mitt Romney, Republican from Utah, and Jeff Markley, Democrat from Oregon, introduced a bill Thursday that would ban flavored e-cigarettes and apply cigarette taxes to the devices, among other measures aimed at curbing teen vaping. There's so much wrong in that first sentence, I just want to scream. Banning flavored vapor products is not going to curb teen vaping. I feel like everybody should know that by now. It is not going to accomplish what they want it to accomplish. It's just not. This bill is called the Ending New Nicotine Dependence or the ENND Act. The legislation would ban e-cigarette flavors other than tobacco. Perfect. Because that's what a smoker wants is more tobacco flavor. It's, that's like, uh, isn't that what ex-alcoholics want is uh, water that tastes like bourbon, right? Isn't that what they want? Yeah. Not really. Okay. Uh, uh, would ban e-cigarette flavors other than tobacco, specify e-cigarette design standards, monitor the public health risks of using tobacco products, apply existing e cigarette taxes to e-cigarettes and direct the Department of Health and Human Services to educate the public about the health implications of using e-cigarettes. Ready to get real mad? 
Vaping companies have hooked millions of our children on nicotine using e-cigarette flavors like Gummy Bear, Scooby Snacks, and Strawberries and Cream. For the record, Mitt Romney, I have never seen a liquid named Scooby Snacks. And I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I'm just saying the odds of a liquid named Scooby Snacks flying under my radar are pretty slim to none. This means massive health consequences for the next generation, and we have to end this addiction crisis, Merkley said in a statement. We need to get these flavors off the market. That's the rational conclusion to jump to. Gotta get these flavors off the market. The bill's introduction comes amid... Okay, now this is the part where we're all going to punch our computer. The bill's introduction comes amid heightened scrutiny of the e-cigarette industry. Health officials are now investigating 530 cases of vaping-associated illnesses. Preliminary federal data data indicates that more than one quarter of high school students are using e-cigarettes, prompting the Trump administration to ready a ban on flavored e-cigarettes. The Food and Drug Administration is planning to introduce regulation within weeks that would take effect after 30 days. So, in addition to the White House FDA flavor ban that apparently is coming within weeks, even though the Food and Drug Administration has drug their feet for the better part of 10 years with no regulations, not enforcing anything. Now suddenly, now suddenly, in the light of vitamin E, acetate, illicit, black market, THC, cannabis, dab carts, making children children, no children. There were no children harmed in this, making youths and mostly adults very, very sick and sometimes dying because that's going on. The government's going to ban water-soluble flavored nicotine products that have helped 13 million United States citizens leave tobacco cigarettes behind. That is lunacy. That is crazy talk. That's what crazy people do. They conflate so many issues in this. They talk about addiction is awful. Apparently, addiction to nicotine, you might as well just be uh, uh, you know, the scum of the earth, just bottom rung of society. If you're addicted to nicotine, you're just a garbage person and you're not worthy of, of anything because the health implications of being addicted to nicotine is just, I mean, nicotine's not a carcinogen, but it is really addictive and it's not going to give you cancer, but it is really addictive and it's not going to cause COPD, but it is really addictive. Um, It's not going to cause emphysema, but it is really addictive. Are they worried about addiction just for the sake of addiction, regardless of the harm it causes? Because that's what it seems like to me. They conflate two separate issues in here. They talk about vape companies hooking millions of children using e-cigarette flavors like gummy bear, Scooby snacks, and strawberries and cream. And then they go on to say, additionally, that same industry right? That same industry is causing these health officials to investigate these 503 cases of vaping associated illnesses. It ha- I mean, that has nothing to do with vaping. And there's no way to get to Mitt Romney to correct him on this. There's no way to get to, to Jeff Markley to correct him on this. CNBC will not be held accountable for confusing the public purposefully on these two issues. They're just making it murkier and murkier and murkier. And all that's going to cause is more people to get sick, more vape shops to close down, and more confusion. There are more people in the United States right now, and I'm sorry I keep looking at the wrong camera. It's just a force of habit. There are more people in the United States right now that believe that vaping is just as bad or worse than smoking Tobacco cigarettes, worse than taking organic plant matter, lighting it on fire, and then inhaling the smoke from it. They think that vaping is worse. People are going back to cigarettes, deadly, deadly, 
cancer causing, emphysema causing, COPD causing, blindness causing, cataract causing, heart disease causing, tobacco, combustible cigarettes. And they're, they're, they're banning flavored vapes because of the illicit black market cannabis products that have been making people sick. This is enough to make me want to pull what's left of my hair out of my body. And the media will never be held responsible. They'll never be held accountable for lies. It's not fake news, it's lies. They are lying. They are making it confusing on purpose. And this has been pointed out many, 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 many times by many, 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 many people. But most recently, I posted a Twitter, uh, let me try to find this video. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to find it. I'm not gonna be able to find it. It was the, okay. It, I'm not gonna be able to find it. I'm not gonna be able to find this video, but there was a local vape shop and I just wanted to give them proper credit, but there was a local vape shop uh, that reported back on something that was reported in the local news in Texas. So in uh, Amarillo, Texas, I believe it was, local news did a story on this guy and this guy was in the hospital and they told his whole story and he's talking about, wow, I had you know shortness of breath. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I had to go to, you know, we had to go to the the hospital we had to do x y and z and they're interviewing him and he said yeah i was vaping and then they just cut him off like mid sentence and so this this store they approached this guy and they said can we clear this up and they had him in the store and it turns out that this guy that was on the news wasn't even a smoker was never a vapor and what they cut out of his interview was him saying vaping THC cartridges. They cut it off at vaping because they want you to be confused. They want the words vaping and hospital and youths and flavors all in your brain all the time. Vaping, youth, flavors, hospital. Vaping, youth, flavors, hospital. When reality is this guy wasn't even a vapor. He had never vaped a nicotine vape ever. Never, never, ever. He said on the news, I'm vaping a THC cartridge and they cut him off and they edited it out and they presented it as news. That is, that is some, that is some garbage journalism. That is some garbage, garbage journalism. Is that the link, Ranger Man? Is that the link? Oh shit. Okay, apparently you can't click on a link in the super chat because it just ruins the super chat. Okay, that's the link in the super chat there. And they called him out and they called out the news. And so I posted that on Twitter. I tagged the news agency. I said, hey, I would love to see a follow-up in light of this new information, you know, on this story of this poor veteran, military veteran that they misquoted. They chopped up his interview to make it seem like he was vaping a nicotine product. The man has never vaped a nicotine product and the news put that out as news and then just got away with it. Just got away with it. Vaping, flavors, youth, hospital. Those are the big takeaway words. Those are the big takeaway words. When you've lost the argument, you appeal to emotion. And that is insanity to me. It's insanity to me. It's complete, complete insanity to me. So we've got this federal bill coming. We've got the potential White House flavor ban coming. And now that we've got to the end of the vlog here, the media needs to be held accountable. The, the media needs to be held accountable. That's my best Bernie Sanders. They need to be held accountable. The pharmaceuticals need to be held accountable. They need to be held accountable for the things that they're doing. That is blatant, blatant garbage journalism. That is cutting up interviews to fit your narrative. That's, that's not America. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? And so here's what I want to leave you with. I'm, we're, we're going to go ahead and end this vlog. Let me, uh, let me have some of this chimay here. 
We're going to go ahead and start wrapping this vlog up, but I want to leave you with some homework, okay? I want to leave you with some homework. What, what I want everyone to do tomorrow, this is going to be a calculated attack. This is what I want everybody to do tomorrow. Let's call the White House again. Let's call the White House again because I feel like they haven't heard from us in a while. I think we should all, everyone, pinky promise, pinky promise me right now we're going to call the White House tomorrow. We are all going to call the White House tomorrow. Get everybody you know. Spread the word. Spread the word that tomorrow is White House Day. Spread the word that tomorrow is White House Day and we are going to flood the White House with calls. Flood. A bigger flood than last time. A, a way bigger flood than last time. 202-456-1414. 202-456-1414. 202-456-1414. Everybody remember that number. What is it? 202-456-1414. Oh, what? Did you want to know the number of the White House? Oh, it's 202-456-1414. I forgot it already. 202-456-1414. We are going to call like crazy tomorrow. You know why? Because we live in America and we can call the White House. I am a free adult American and I should have the right to choose. I should have the right to choose. And this is, this is where I want to leave you guys. This is my new rant. This is my new platform, okay? We're kind of all over the place with our messaging. We're talking about MSA, blood money. We're talking about the Royal College of Physicians being 95% less harmful for you. We're talking about how this is a viable option for, you know, ingrained smokers that can't possibly quit any other way. They can reduce the harm in their life by having this nicotine product. And those are all great arguments and those are all fine arguments. But the argument that I believe in the most is that this is an adult choice issue. As a free adult American who is of age, it should be my choice. It should be my choice of what I get to put inside of my body. If I want to drink Chimay Grand Reserve, I can drink this whole bottle and just get fucked up and drunk. As an American, that's my choice to do that. If I want to go buy a pack of cigarettes and start smoking, guess what? As an American, that is my choice to be able to do that. This is a freedom issue. This is a liberty issue. And this is an adult choice issue. All the government should be doing with vaping, and this is all the government should have ever done with vaping, is obviously regulate the safety aspect of it because we want the safest product possible. They should communicate to the general public the relative risks of all tobacco products. They should communicate the relative risks of cigarettes. They should rel the relative risks of vapor products, of snus, of chewing tobacco, of alcohol, of whatever. They should inform the public of those risks and then go, once you're old enough, you can decide what you want to do. Here's all the, here's all the risks. Here's all the risks for smoking. Here's all the risks for vaping. Here's all the risks for drinking. Here's all the risks for everything. And then when you turn 21, you as a free adult American who are granted life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, now you get to decide what you put in your body. That and a nicotine cap. But this is a freedom issue. This is a freedom issue. It should be our right to choose. And I think that's the most powerful, I think that is the most powerful platform that we can jump on. Because, you know, the, the Royal College of Physicians, they're, they're not, they're completely ignoring that science. They want US science. That's the problem. There's a reason why the RCP and Public Health England are getting ignored in the United States. It's because they want United States studies. They've had 10 years to do it. I don't know why there aren't any. They're, they've had 10 years to regulate it. I don't know why they haven't yet. And ultimately, this is the FDA's fault. I place the blame of the youth vaping issue squarely on them because they had 10 years to regulate this. And you know what they did? Zero. They did zero to regulate this. They allowed Juul to come onto the market. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong camera again. They allowed Juul to come onto the market and release the single most addictive vapor device that exists on earth. 
50 milligram before before Juul existed the highest nicotine that I think anybody was even selling was 18 18 milligram was the highest nicotine that existed you couldn't buy any higher than that and you were lucky if you could find anything even approaching 18 milligram and then Juul's like hold my beer 50 what do you think about that 50 milligram. Juul should never have been allowed on the market. The UK did it correctly. They capped their nicotine and kept Juul out of the market. There was a long time until Juul dropped their nicotine levels where the UK was like, obviously you cannot sell that here. That is way too much nicotine. But in the United States, the FDA did nothing. They allowed Juul to exist. They allowed 50 milligram nicotine on the market like of course of course kids are gonna use it of course they are dude it's 50 milligrams of nicotine do you have any idea the buzz that that's giving them it's insanity the fda allowed this to happen and did nothing they have known about vaping for 10 years Vapor products, open vapor products are an FDA regulated product. They have all of our recipes. They have all of our lab reports. They know our liquids down to a molecular level. They know exactly what is in them. They know how many companies are out there. They know every flavor of every company that's out there. They've had the recipes since 2016. This is already a regulated product. Nothing. They just allowed Juul to exist and basically ruin everything. Ruin everything. And here's the thing. I don't want Juul banned. I, I hate Juul, but the fact of the matter is it's harm reduction and it's keeping people off of cigarettes. Same goes for the ICOS. The ICOS, I don't care for it. I kind of wish it didn't exist, but it does. And at the end of the day, it's tobacco harm reduction. It's going to get people off of cigarettes. end rant so here's the homework tomorrow yeah i got a little bit of rage sweat you can't see it because of the camera but i do have a little bit of rage sweat going on right now and now jewel's owned by big tobacco and they brought in their big tobacco uh executive to run jewel and that's just just spiffy that is just spiffy and all the fda and all the white house are going to do is completely hand over the entire vapor industry to big tobacco that is what's happening. That is the road we are going down and we have to stop it. We have to stop it, you guys. We have no choice. We have to stop it. This is, this is the FDA's fault. This is an adult choice issue. And our homework tomorrow is to call the White House. Call the White House. Let's do it. I'm on board. I wanna get everybody on board tomorrow. Calling the White House tomorrow is a thing that's gonna happen. We're gonna make a big impact tomorrow. We're gonna call like crazy. We're gonna call like crazy. Okay, I think we can agree on that. All right. Well, I think that's about all we got time for tonight, my friends. Let me take one quick look around the room and make sure I didn't forget anything. Cheers. Mm. Oh, Shimei, you will never let me down. You will never let me down like the Food and Drug Administration has. Let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. I think we're good. I think we're all good right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. Thanks for hanging out with me for the last two hours. Really appreciate it. And I always say this, whoever makes it to the end of this vlog, you're literally just my favorite people on earth. And if I ever get the opportunity to meet you in real life, I do dispense very crisp high fives or uh, I go in for the hug pretty often. So hugs, high fives, there's some combo deals. We offer discounts for multiple packages. It's all good. We can cross that bridge when we get there. But thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Never, never stop fighting. Never give up. Be relentless. We are calling the White House tomorrow because we are far, far from being done. Far, far from being done. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, that's what she said is on in about 15 minutes over there on the Ruby Roo channel. They got a lot going on tonight as well. And uh, I just want to thank you guys one more time. And uh, as always, I'm going to grab this. No matter what any politician tells you, 
No matter what any politician tells you, all right, hang on, I'm trying to find my intro. No matter what any politician tells you, you guys, no matter what, let's keep on vaping.